9th, 2014. For the record, my name is Teresa Rayford. The organization is Don't Shoot Portland. Um, we have partnered with people who have brought in Jesse Jackson that day. So the po Portland Police Bureau had actually brought the speaker to the podium, which was on the Justice Center steps. They knew that we had been protesting since August of 2014. So at the end of November, there had possibly been dozens of unpermitted lawful protests. Uh, we were even cited by several media sources that we were very safe um, protesting and very organized. And even different people that were out there with the Bureau noticed that we weren't doing anything hostile, riotous, or whatever. So on the day that this happened, um, the people that were, uh, that were actually arrested all happened to be bloggers. They were all media. They were either cop watchers or they were people that actually had blogs that were helping us with our social media and communications with people in Ferguson and across the country so that we could do these solidarity protests. Also, right after that protest, our social media was shut down. And then inadvertently over the last you know, two years, we found out that we had been illegally surveyed. Now, according to what happened that day, I had went out to Salem and spoke to Arias Johnson, who was the executive de director of the Civil Rights Bureau. And then after speaking to him, based on what his words were to me, based on what I said happened, I went to Ashley Alvey's and had a tort claim put together based on the circumstance. So the protest being stopped was an illegal thing because it's not illegal to protest, it's not illegal to protest in the street, but it is illegal for you to stop a protest. There was no legal reason for you to do that, so that was unlawful. And so that's why we're here.